Hello, Namaste. Auntie Zarna here with the Zarna Gard Family Podcast. So excited to get right into it for the new year. Welcoming to the podcast, my 18-year-old, my newly minted adult, 18-year-old son, Bridge, who also, by the way, just got into college, Woo! is going to be attending Cornell University this fall. Uh, my husband of 25 years, we just celebrated 25 years two days ago, Shalab Garg, finance professional. Uh, my daughter, Zoya, who is in her third year at college at Stanford University, and of course me. And today's topic is about being an adult. We have two kids on the table who are trying to navigate an adult life for the first time. And what this means in a brown family context, we're going to explore that today because what? I'm trying to navigate adulthood too. Just it's not just the two kids. So who am I the only adult in this? <laughs> I'm just saying that it's like <clears throat> I'm apparently the only adult in this house <laughs> in this room. Uh, but we are all in various stages of trying to navigate this. So, Bridge, first of all, congratulations! You got into college. Thank you. What are you feeling? How are you feeling about it? Are you stressed about something? Are you excited? Tell us everything. Um. So off the bat, I just turned 18 uh, a little over a month ago, so I'm not like a full-bred born adult. Good job. Good job <laughs> for knowing that. that. that legally, you are an adult. I am no. an adult. Legally, I'm an adult. You cannot government. be a little pregnant. No. I'm, I'm an adult, but no, I'm, you're not. I'm not used to being an adult Rich, yet. don't get bullied by these guys. Your original instinct was correct. You are not an adult because you are that an Indian. That wasn't what I said. You're an Indian kid. You're part of our family. It's going to be 25, 28 before you feel like an adult. And that's mm. okay. okay. You don't need to rush yourself. So that was my point, is that I don't feel like a true adult yet. What does an know. adult feel like? I wouldn't know because I don't feel like it. What do you I just think, don't feel what like do you it. expect it to feel like if you don't I feel expect like it? To, I expect myself to feel like a true adult <laughs> by the time college ends. When I graduate college, I think that's in the first time, or maybe the year before, I'll feel like a true adult. Right now, the first thoughts of me when I'm going into college is that one, there's a large tuition. Two, um, I have to meet new people. And three, get a job. That's what right now is feeling like to me as a, as a new adult. So those, are of, adult, those are very adult thoughts. And we can help him with all three. Yes. We can help you with the tuition. The whole I point, can introduce you no, to everybody you need no, to meet. The whole point of becoming an adult is learning how to be independent from you. No. Right? So that no. if Bridge needed to independently <clears throat> function outside of the two of you, he could do it. No. So yeah, my mother is not even independent of her. Thank you. Yes. So why I mean, would it's he It's really hard to be independent of your mom. And why would you be independent of your mom? I, do, I like, I only... He has to, to live on his own. Fly, birdie, fly. No. <laughs> he needs to go fly. He will, he will. And then he will come back every weekend. And, you know, the way all Indian kids do. I gotta tell you this though. I, I know that Didi went to college very far, right? So many of the things were very impractical with her, like on a day-to-day -day basis. But I went to college like you, very close to the city uh, where, I, where I grew up in. And I would go every weekend and bring dirty clothes to get them laundered. Exactly. Home? I can come back what? almost every weekend. So you're I just going to come home for the sake of cleaning as well? No, I'm going to come home when I feel like it. But and now another important thing of being an adult <laughs> is that all these big decisions are now my own. Before, when I had to go out at night, I always had to come back because mom said, come back home. <laughs> yes. But now, when before, when I wanted to go eat with my friends, I had to say, oh, can I go eat with my friends? But now it's it's all up to me. I can choose. Do I want to eat with my friends? Do I want to stay out tonight? Do I want to sleep over at my friend's house without no. adult supervision? <laughs> no. Well, where are you getting these ideas from? I'm an adult. No, Bridge. No, 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 no. Oh. I mean, he is Who an adult. Who is giving him ideas? That's not adult, adult, adult. Everybody's saying as if like you, you went and did everything staying at home, right? It's not a big deal. The reason you're here, the reason you're going to a good college and all of it's working out, why? Why? Because we're navigating you through the path of safety. Oh. You know what I mean? It is in but your interest. I want interest. to experience new things. It's my choice. The whole point of being 18 is that now your, your parents dictate how you grow up and what path you're going to take. Yes. But as soon as you turn 18, it's your choice whether you want to continue on that same path or you want to deviate a little bit. Who told you this? It's just a fact. That's what happens in your 18. It has to be Julia. Was it Julia? Oh my God. I think that I won't feel like an adult until you stop tracking me. I'm going to track you. Always. I'm going to track you guys Because I forever. feel like every decision that I make goes through layers yes. of verification. Yes, that's right. Most of which come directly from you. That's right. 
Because if you mess up and you do some dumb thing out there, guess who has to handle it and clean it up and make sure that you guys get back on track? It's better for us to stay on top of your situations and guide you. And you guys take a few extra years to make your own decisions because by but then... Zang, she's like a week away from being 21. So what? I still 21. don't feel like an adult. So what? Like... 21 means nothing. I don't know why you're so fixated on number, number as if 21, 12. So what? Then then nothing means anything. Why no. does even... I think at some point the moms and dads know. Okay, okay now, okay, you are ready. What? She when? is nowhere close when would to that being be? ready. Why am I when nowhere would that close be? to being ready? I've become so financially <clears throat> responsible. I opened a credit card. She I'm going to be card. paying taxes. I'm doing all the things that an adult does. No. they ad- huh? Marriage potentially. What? Down well, the road, that's marriage. That's not coming anytime soon. The thing that I need to see before I think you guys are an adult is sound, good judgment and decision making, especially but in social decision situations. Making, you don't even think yeah. I have good judgment. Yeah. Like, and what that's kind not of a good worst definition. judgment? Like, that the is like worst. the worst possible. Uh, that way, nobody will ever be an adult. No. But yeah, well, it's a high threshold. I mean, I don't know what to say. Who to you is a young adult? Who has done adulting correctly? Do you have any examples of Young? a person? I don't think we'll ever be adults <laughs> as my ma is my No argument. no no, I don't think so. I think by 25, 30 you will get there. By 25. 25, 30. That's a large range. Okay, 25. You know what? I'm happy to compromise. Actually, I'm glad so we the agree. day we turn 25. I think the day I turned 18, I realized I can now make all my decisions, not only can I make, but they also reflect on me. For example, now if I get into legal trouble, it's on me. Which is important to what know. What legal trouble are you we in? We went for a government document, right? We had to go to a government document. And I was not allowed to speak on his behalf. He was yeah. not allowed to speak on my behalf. And the doctors now have to inform me about every single medical bill I received. Oh, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. It's a legal requirement. That's why all your doctors are Indian. And they all know that they, they, they better not freaking email you directly. They know that. <laughs> And they anyway, I have your in. password too. So there's that. Uh, okay. That's an invasion of <laughs> privacy. Now that Bridge is an adult, he is entitled to a certain degree of privacy. Like you're not allowed in his bank account anymore. How no. does it feel to have a credit card, Zoya? Bridge, we have great. a joint I bank account. Great. Tell her that. It's what joint be you bank account? We do he not has have his a joint own bank account. Bank account no, you're going to add me. Bridge, we talked about Why are you getting bullied by her? I, I said I'll have my own bank account. Yes, and I will be a signatory on it. You and me together will have your bank account. <laughs> I will have my bank account. You and me together. Yeah, that because no I'm going to keep an eye on it. No, it's my personal bank account. No one will know. Mom always says, as you and I both agree, even though <laughs> you and I never agree. We agree all the time. Stop it. You're trying to create trouble for no reason. Okay, what else are you excited about? And how about you? You are almost two-thirds of the way through college. Yeah. <coughs> so, how do you feel about your adulting journey? I feel that college has been very aimless. I've tried a bunch of different things. And it's been really interesting to discover who I am as an adult. Outside of being your guys' daughter, what are my interests? What are the things that make me happy independently? I think that that has been great and I feel and, very and what fulfilled. what is the answer to that question? So for example, I really, really like to read. And mom always said that like reading- Like books, like books. Yes, like actual books. I mean, I, mean, I don't are know- Are you regressing back to 1000 years ago? Like who reads? It's, but I really enjoy it personally. And mom used like to say- Like hardcovers, actual books. Yes, <coughs> actual books. I even have a Goodreads account in case anybody's interested in checking out my very extensive book reviews. I write them for fun. <laughs> and she thinks that it's so waste of time that I write book well, reviews. Why does she think it's a waste of time? She's about to write, she got this massive mega deal, book deal that she herself got and is about to write one. I like the idea of writing a book for money. Oh. But reading, she just spends hours and hours reading all these random stories. But it's part of my adult self to enjoy reading. I love going to farmer's markets, which oh is something I've done God. as an adult, which my parents cannot stand. I don't see what is so horrible about going to a farmer's Why market. Why can't you just go to Whole Foods like the rest of the world? It's, there's a vibe to walking in a farmer's market <coughs> and buying flowers and buying fresh fruit. I don't know. I've like found a lot of hobbies as an adult. Okay, all right. Let's get to the more important part. At what point do you say to your parents, mom, dad, I don't need you to pay for my Netflix account anymore. I don't need you to pay for my Uber account anymore. Is that something that's on your mind? Yeah. 
Of course. I think once I get my like first real actual job, yeah, it becomes a lot. I become a lot more financially independent, and slowly I start accepting your money, and then to the point where I don't accept any of your money, and that's the that's the end goal. Obviously, not just the end goal. That's like the that's the first step of really not only becoming an adult but becoming more of a like man. In the sense that I'm financially responsible for myself. There you go. I this think that it. it's also a gradual progression, right? So, like the first thing I've been trying to take care of is my personal expenses. What are the things that I'm spending money on? Whether it's coffee or Ubers, like weekly expenses. Then I think it's taking care of your bigger expenses, whether that's Netflix account. The thing about these accounts, though, is we're all on family plans, so I don't even Netflix, do. I just yes. demo you. For at the end of the movie. Also, Zoya, I just want to remind you: you already did make money last summer. Yeah, I did. Money. I did. But Please remind her. Yeah, but what is it? I already know. I'm on her bank account also. Okay. Um, I'm just I didn't know. That. We have our bank account. We have our bank account. I I, the thing is, account. I thought it was mine, so I didn't know there was an hour. <laughs> no, component. I have all the logins, all the passwords. Parents, I recommend that you do that with all your children. Every login, every password, every security code. Just make a master document and keep it always. Yeah, but <clears throat> Bridge, the other day, a few days ago, you said to me that a friend of you said yours said to you, "Why don't you just take an Uber? It's not your money; it's your dad, your parents' money." Mm -hmm. Is that something kids say? Yeah, that's a, something. A lot, most of my friends <clears throat> say something about how, "Oh, you, you don't have to worry about spending money; it's your parents' money," or "Oh, just get this dinner and use your parents' money. It doesn't matter; it's your parents' money; it's not your money. Why would I care? I spend my parents' money, not my money." That's a huge thing. And wow. how do you feel about that? I, mean, I know, I, right? I disagree with it. It's, it's such a mean surprised. thing to say. For an eighteen-year-old, I mean, if a twelve-year-old said that, I would understand. But for an eighteen-year-old to say that is not that great. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I don't. I mean, I definitely don't agree with that. I think that um, you should definitely bear some responsibility when using your parents' money. I feel really guilty every time I spend your money, whether yeah. it's on an Uber or anything. Especially as an adult. Especially as an adult, because now it's like, okay, I need to make my own money, so I don't have to spend your money. It's too early in the line for me to have expected that of myself. And I don't think it's fair for you guys to expect expected it from me at this point. But maybe six years down the road, I would like to have a job that allows me to make my own money and live in my own house. I think when the day you turn 18, things become much more real. Because there's no, there's no, like, it feels like you've become 18. And then immediately you need to come up with a foolproof plan on how to become an adult. And I think as somebody who's been turning 21, I've realized that it's far more progressive, even if you want to move as fast as you can, if you're working part-time jobs, any of those things, it is really complicated to go from like a dependent to somebody who's immediately independent. And I wish that, I think I always thought it was going to be this immediate thing because dad said, now you're 18, I'm throwing you out of the house. I never Why said would you, you sure. always said. I'm just saying that's the law that I could throw you out of the house. That, right. So oh. with that in mind, I always thought, okay, I'm getting thrown out of the house. I need to figure it out. And figuring it out, even though I prioritized it, has taken a lot more time than I thought. Okay, but here's an easy way to alleviate the guilt. If you just listen to what we say oh and do God. what we want you to do, you don't have to feel guilty about taking our money. That oh is a trade. My Lord. That is so a what trade. What could you tell us that would make us money? Like, I really think you should consider going to medical school. I've said this. But I am not interested in being a doctor. See, then you will feel guilty about the money. <laughs> <laughs> but it's See, his life. He I cannot become a doctor. If I, don't, I want to do whatever I want to do. I've already told you I'm going to do whatever I want to do. I'm not saying don't do what you want to do. I'm saying also do what I want you to do. Okay. <laughs> Okay, but how does <laughs> becoming a doctor, if he has no interest in becoming a doctor... He, first of all, has interest. Oh, my God. Where it's not I have, have no interest. I no. promise you I have no interest. You don't know yet whether you have interest or not. I'm telling you I have no interest. You're, the interest <laughs> evolves. You, you take one class, you get an A+. Plus. You take I, I'm not class. taking any science classes in college. Well, then, what classes are you taking? Right now, I'm taking biology and I hate it. Yeah, no, you don't hate it. I hate it. I can tell you, Rich, no but Indian mom, how can you say biology. that as a person that's now a comedian following your dreams? So I don't get it. This I mean, was. Can't just keep throwing back that back at her. It's as much other necessity than anything else that you. But dad, but comedian. she but, loves being a comedian, though. I'm I know, but like, but she, if it was out of pure necessity, then she could have worked a bunch of different kinds of jobs. She right? did work a bunch of different jobs leading up to becoming a comedian. And she loves being a businessman as much as she loves being a comedian. Right. So why, if Bridge loves being a business person, he's expressed a lot of interest in entrepreneurship. How much, I guess the question is, when you become an adult, how much say do we get as kids 
in order to still have you guys either support us emotionally or even more so financially? Not much. Not much. You don't have much say. That okay. is the fact. You cannot have both. That is that is the crux of it. We are happy to support emotionally, financially, and everything, and then we want control. But I There's would rather not take that. your money and have full control. No, of you don't life. know that. You say no. all the time that you don't agree with these sports players because they're signing a lot of money for a yeah. contract. Yes. But their team owners have full control of us. What's the difference? We're signing a contract, so you give us money, but you have full control of but us. But Bridge, your interests and my interests. I'm not going to talk about your dad, but your interests and my interests. <laughs> Are completely aligned. They are a completely team, aligned. A team owner we are not athlete, completely aligned. They're working against each they're other. They're working completely together too. They don't no. want to succeed the in football. The team owner is saying, I will give you a million dollars and I will extract every ounce of value out of you because I have to recover that money. And he's I'm saying, not, I will use all the value of me in this game so that I can make as much money as possible. Bridge. Our interests do not align. Uh, our interests are both to make money, right? No, my interest is to see you settled in a happy proper cerebral life in America doing what America. I want to do to Married make no. to an Indian girl doing, that you met in med well school. he himself after watching Animal said he wanted to meet an Indian girl I did say that that is true but that has nothing which, to do with you I can meet my own really, I can meet someone on my I own I would really That's love to know what reviewers think of that statement because Animal clearly portrays women in a very That's a, but the women characters are pretty strong the women characters are very strong yeah it's not People who are creating a whole fuss about the movie, that's a whole other animal, the movie, Indian movie. It's a whole another sidetrack. But you like, so if you wanted to meet a nice Indian girl and I introduce you to one, what's so wrong? I want to find one myself. Why? I want to, because I, I can find one myself. <coughs> I'm going to a school where I meet a lot of new people. I've already met a lot of people. I don't need your help. I don't want your okay, help. Can you differentiate between an Indian girl from India and an Indian girl like Yes, of course. Race, in what way? The Indian, Indian girls from India are a lot more feminine. Not for one, definitely feminine. Two, also much more cultural towards traditional in the Indian sense. We're a very non-traditional Indian family. But what? Uh, how did we're you very are extremely We are not tradi traditional. She is a comedian. You let me go family. out at Friday nights. Um, no, no. All that, we, we, me and Veer both played basketball and football growing up. I don't like it. We eat meat. We, did, we eat uh, meat. We meat. eat so much steak. Very little meat. India very would not let us enter their country if they knew much steak meat. It's not very little meat. It's so much meat that the people who make meat no, have put us in their most favorite list. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are we are a very traditional family for everybody who's watching. And then, I wouldn't <laughs> want to be with a girl well, of whatever race that didn't know how to stand up for herself, didn't want to make money or had dreams and just wanted to stay at home. She's going to stand up to you and give you a headache every day. That's not true necessarily. I would want someone who has aspiration. An Indian girl from New York is a lot different. An Indian girl from Florida is a lot different than all types of people from each pl place of the Indian world. Indian girl from New York will be like your sister. Yes. With hundred. That's not even true. I know Indian women from what, New York. What are you? What, what does that mean? What, Indian girl? Is that some sort of derogatory statement? That's just no, not just true. Like, do you really want to manage all that stress uh, in your life? That's just not true. Also, we know Indian I, women. I go to farmers welfare. markets and read books, so I don't know why they're always no, saying I'm you're, so stressed you're, out. You're a so handful. You are a handful. Well. I'm really a calm individual, so I'm glad. Oh we, my god! <laughs> I'm glad we settled that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Recently, I asked my mom. My my mom actually. My mom found this amazing girl for you. I just wanted to let you know. Oh, oh yeah. There's no chance in the girl. world yeah. I will let Dali decide. She's from, from girl where I grew up. It's from the same state in India. She's educated too. They have let her go. To what happened to letting people fall in love? I just no, don't get it. I mean, no. we're not even as an adult. One of the things Bridge is going to get to experience is dating different kinds of people, figuring out. Who does he like? Who does he vibe with? What kind of... Here's the problem with what you're saying. Oh, dear. Uh, you can figure it out and spend years figuring it out. Or you ask us. And we just tell you. But what is the point of life if you just give us answers that you think are correct? Especially in a world that's so different than the world that you grew up it's in. It's not that different. It is what pretty is the different. Difference? What is it? We, What's the we difference? grew up in America. We're going to college in America. Yeah. And Bridge is a young guy who lives in a very different political atmosphere than in India. Right here, it's not expected for Bridge to get married in the next year. No, not yet. Who are for expecting, women to expect? They're expecting you to get married. Which is life. again not reflective of the culture we live in. Most That's people not do true. not get married now. That's not true. Tell me what the good couple... ones are gone very early. Very early. And very early. That for, is just for you, not the peak true. is in the next couple of years. For him, the peak is in ten years. Where ten years. is this evidence coming from? I mean, I think you guys just say things. I know a lot of really successful women who don't get married until they're thirty. Oh, why don't you talk to them and ask them how happy they are? Yeah. Why don't you ask them that question? 
Yeah, I don't know what to say, guys. I might not even get married, and I'm not getting married until 30. So you should honestly focus all your adult attention on Bridge, who is clearly doing it much more correct. No, okay. Here's the thing. Let's let's get back to the center of this question, which is adulting. Uh, and what responsibilities do you guys feel towards us? Many. Down the line, many. Right now, I have no responsibility towards you guys. Okay. My I biggest responsibility in my responsibility. in my life is my brother. Why? Aside from him, I don't have any responsibility. Why your brother? Because he's young. I someone with both of you guys working and her in California. Who is left to take care of him? That's true. That's pretty adult too. It's a very yeah. adult statement. But up to you guys, I don't have any responsibilities. I agree until later in life when I'm more successful and even, I will. Even then, I don't think he or Zoya or we, any of the three. We what both feel a very son? deep sense of family responsibility. I've never I mean, spent like, so any breaks. As long as they invite us once on Thanksgiving or Christmas, Christmas, that's good enough. No, that's why do you want to see us once a year? I think that's crazy. I mean, if we, if mom only saw us once a year, I don't even know what would happen. That just that's now happen. because <laughs> once you have your own husband and your own children, you will have your own life. No, they so I have, have a question for you guys because yeah. this is something that me and Didi are very different in. We've been yeah. different in, in a while for yeah. a while. Yeah. And I want to see how you guys will handle it. With Didi, you still bear a lot of control on Didi, whether she wants to admit it or not. You still both of you guys bear a lot of control over her. I have no control over her because I mean, you don't choose it. But with I go me, to farmers markets. So I'm with super me, rebellious. I've never given you guys the same control that I you guys have had over Didi, and I will continue not to do so in college. Good. Like, for example, if there is a break and I felt somewhere I wanted to go, I would not immediately come home. That is not something that I, like I 100% that. prioritize. Like a, this is why men cannot be careless. Women and children what can be. How does that have I'm anything? just saying, look at them. This, this is what a man talks This is how a man talks like. The man is Decides. not talking anything. You're coming home when you have time off. I'm saying I can make that decision no. now as an adult. No. I agree. These are things you that... You should make that decision. You should pay for that trip. You should live where you can live and afford to live. And do not ask us for money. That what is the is ultimate that? goal. Bridge. Or listen to us and we take care of you. And we spend the money that you need to spend to come home and live comfortably in this nice sofa of ours that I just bought. And we are happily ever after together as happily a family. Ever after. But <laughs> that was the craziest thing I've ever heard her say happily ever after. I have after to adventure and do my own thing. No. That is something. That adventure is, one thing is about, code for getting into trouble. I tell that you that. That is one thing about going to university that, I, that I'm so happy to do is make my own adventures, travel the world in my own, by you myself. You are not traveling the world. You are not. I'm telling you right now. Oh, my Not the world. Body. Maybe maybe in the USA. Maybe you in the world. The scope is going to get smaller and smaller. <laughs> maybe in New York. Maybe this very apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that corner of the living room. That That's right, before. because it is cold <laughs> for you're going to get yourself in trouble and I'm not going to let that happen to you. But uh, so many other people get in trouble. You want to know something? You know the Wolf of Wall Street. You know who that was based off of? No. Um, a man named Jordan Belfort in the movie. Yeah. It was based off a real human being. I forgot his name. But he, one of the major things that he always talks about is how many mistakes he made in his early life. He went to jail for a month or something like that because of how many mistakes he made. But he still ended up being the Wolf of Wall Street. Because he was that successful. Yeah, he ultimately got incarcerated. And for the last 25 uh, years... That's a very been, interesting It's a really model. bad example. Bridget. But he, he okay, still made it though. He, he still made, made it. nothing. He they made, made a million. fictitious movie that 10 people sat in a room and wrote about him. And the whole world watched it. He's for rotting Martin away Martin. in jail. Are you freaking serious? This is, this there is, are many people who make mistakes and come out of it. Is that not true? The owner of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, made something called Face Smash. Was that not a mistake? Yes, and listen, I'm not against oh, if making you want mistakes. to make business mistakes, yeah, that you can then face match was more than a business mistake. That was a he got thrown out of code college. of conduct. Okay, well, you know what? You have your aspirations neatly lined up. I, I'm just but saying. What's the, the worst case scenario? I guess is his question is if he really does follow his goals and ambitions and whatever. I mean, the worst it, case is poverty as a 35 year old. No, no, beyond his personal poverty or whatever could happen, implications. Would you just stop? I know dad is going to be in his life, but would you stop being like... I will stop. I will Will you just cut him off? I will cut him off. Okay. That's just a lie. I will. No. You don't (laughs) know that? If he took a machete and killed 10 people on Broadway, he would still go to jail to see him. No, I will not. I do think Bridge gets a lot more free passes in this regard than I do. What do you mean? Oh my God. Oh my God. Now it has become a boy girl. Boy girl. I think that if I didn't come home every single break, when you get upset with me, you just unshare your location with me. I do unshare You delete location. photos of me on Instagram. Yes. Like, immediate. But yes. when Bridge and you get upset, it's like a cold war where you're just, like, missing him, actually. But you're also a girl, Vita. The rules are slightly different. Okay, anyway, this has been a fun, fun episode, episode about adulting. 
and and well, this is a perfect place to stop because Zoya is on the verge of lying more and more about oh. me. And as we end every episode with a very fun segment called uh, "Good Grades with Darks," where each one of us decides who gets the A grade for today's episode. So oh, I know who I'm going. I'm gonna go with Bridge. Oh, yeah, I have to go with Bridge. Why? I mean, he made such a manly man statement about his desires and needs and wants and decisions. I thought it was very well said. And articulated. I also feel that Bridge got the A grade today. I felt he articulated exactly why he deserves to be an adult, what it means to be an adult, which is independence from your parents and from the world, and to be able to think freely. And I find that he is going to make a fantastic adult that I can learn from as well. You're not getting there, so <laughs> yes, Bridge. I'm deciding. So okay, you're deciding. Often in these podcasts, we are left with a situation where I actually deserve the A grade, oh but I, <laughs> I can't give myself the A grade every time. Often, so I am going to give the A grade to Bridge, but not for the reasons that these guys mentioned oh, because God. those reasons are wrong. It's because we have an unspoken bond where, even though he's saying all these things, <laughs> in our <laughs> eyes we agree. That I, work we have. I don't know who looking. she's agreeing. With. I don't. We I have a meeting of the minds. We you. have a meeting of the minds that that we and I know that my son is gonna go to college and text me every day <laughs> about the decisions he wants to make and he's considering making. So thank you for giving me that position in your life, Rich. Oh, uh, that's not the position you're getting. Okay, we will see. It remains to be seen. And you go next, last. I'm gonna give my A grade to mom just because I think that the position that she holds. Is a strong position amongst many adults, not not just herself, and I think she defended it, even though she made some ridiculous points and assumed that we all agree with her when none of us actually did. <laughs> she did defend it to the best of her ability. Thank you, right. thank you so much. Thank Tell you. us who you give the A grade to, what adulting means to you. Comment, like, and share, and we can't wait to see you for the next episode. Thank you. Bye. Bye.